My favorite handheld console of all time would have to be the Nintendo DS, mainly because I enjoyed my favorite Pokemon games on this system and the dual screen took things to another level at the time. Nowadays, I replayed those classics through emulation, so in this video, I'm going to share what I consider are the best 5 Nintendo DS emulators for PC. Kicking things off at number 5 is RetroArch's little brother, that being OpenMU, a front end for multiple emulators. And when playing DS games on OpenMU, it uses Desmu Me. Nowhere near as easy to set up as the standalone emulator, but still easier than RetroArch. So it's not made for someone new to emulation or if you just want to jump right into playing some DS games. But once you do have it set up, OpenMU is wonderful and you can even upload all your DS games and the emulator will cover them with box art, making your collection of ROMs look good. Number 4 is the returning big dog that makes its way in all my videos, that being RetroArch, the multi-emulator that uses other emulators calling them cores. And when using RetroArch to play DS games, you have two of the best DS emulators available as cores to pick from, that being Melon DS and Desmu Me. Now you can't go wrong with those picks. Now you would think this will be number 1 since it offers my top 2 spot emulators as cores right now, well the reason it's number 4 is because for people People new to emulation setting up RetroArch will be intimidating and a little stressful. It's just not as simple as a standalone emulator. Number 3 is no GBA. Now, this emulator may have started off as a Game Boy Advance emulator, it is now considered one of the best Nintendo DS emulators as well. Although it plays every Game Boy Advance game, it doesn't play every DS game. Also there aren't a lot of settings available to play around with, but there is enough to make sure that you have a great experience. And yes, graphics upscaling is available as well, but it's not as good as the next two emulators on my list. The save states work perfectly on this emulator, which is a plus, and you don't need a powerful PC at all to get a good stable performance, which is really nice for laptops or PCs that have no graphics cards. Coming in at number 2 is Melon DS, a very stable emulator that is fast and plays games with no lag and it will run great on older PCs. Melon DS is an open source emulator, just wanted to mention that as well. This emulator doesn't have as many features as the next emulator up, but it does have one of the most important features and that is graphic upscaling. So you can play at high resolution and have stable gameplay. It has auto save so you always return to where you left off in Pokemon and get this there is also Wi-Fi support in some games which is always nice. My number one pick is Desmu Me. True, the name is a little weird, but the performance of this emulator is nothing to joke about. Desmu Me plays DS games perfectly. The compatibility list is almost full and there are a lot of settings for you to play around with. You can upscale those graphics, there is a cheat code manager, and you have a simple save slot feature that allows you to continue the game from where you left off. Once again, great for Pokemon games. It doesn't matter if you have a new PC or an old one, you will have no problem getting Desmu Me up and running and enjoying your favorite DS games in no time. So those are the top 5 emulators I recommend using for Nintendo DS emulation. Thanks for watching, if this video was helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.